Hey guys, welcome to another episode here on the Jason Saunders channel. And this will be part two of my Nintendo DS slash 3DS collection. We're slashing. It's slashing time. Slash. And uh, guys, get ready. Get your seatbelts on. Got the seatbelt right here. Buckle. There we go. Trick. There it is. That's a sound. I'm being super animated right now, but that's the sound of it going into the buckle. And we're just, we're putting another one in there just for safety because you have to brace yourself for this because of the awesomeness and the wild and exciting ride that you guys will be witnessing on part two here on the Jason Saunders channel. Welcome guys. And I welcome all of you who just, you know, happen to go on the channel. Check it out. There's some good stuff here where it's all about having fun. And it's all about uh, the community here on this awesome YouTube uh, community here. So uh, I welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to have a good time. And let's do this. And uh, before we start, I... Uh, Read you uh, all of your comments, awesome comments on the last video. Awesome, guys. Awesome. That is, that makes me happy. It puts a smile on my face. And let's get ready to go here, guys. Put the pedal to the metal. We got our safety uh, utility belts ready. Cha chunk, cha chunk. We're ready. We're in the seats. We're ready to fly. All right. So, part two going on here let's get this started let's get it going all right here we go this is a good one to start off here we got castlevania dawn of sorrow by konami classic classic game here awesome just uh and i love that art too you got that nice anime looking art i love all the different character uh, portraits on this it's awesome Awesome game. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of the Castlevanias for the DS, really. Uh, all three of them are excellent. I'd have a hard time trying to pick my favorite. I don't know. <sighs> That'd be hard. I might be this one. I'm not sure. Portrait of Ruin. One of those two. Um, they're all they're all great games. Awesome. If you're into the traditional Castlevanias, definitely check it out. You know, awesome music, awesome graphics, and uh, we got. A little bit of Bob Marley here, guys. Here we go. <laughs> I like this shirt. It's awesome. It's got some cool psychedelic 90s colors, you know, kind of going on. He kind of circled around his, you know, all that. So, yeah. Bob Marley represent. Right. Okay. Next one, we've got Star Wars The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes. Uh, not too bad. Um, there's, it's... Um, a stylus game, so you're using the, the stylus a lot, and um, and some of it, some games work really well with it. This one kind of doesn't, because it's more of like an action-based game. Uh, some parts are kind of cool, but eh, it's not too bad, it's just it's not the best out there. Um, but it's okay. It's If you can find it for a couple of dollars, definitely try it. Uh, here we go, Lego City Undercover, The Chase Begins. This game's really good. It's, uh, if you like, uh, Grand Theft Auto, this is basically it in Lego form. So it's cool. You're stealing vehicles. Um, you're not doing some of the other stuff that you would normally do in, uh, yeah, in the GTA games, um, because it's more child-friendly. If you know, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's a good, it's a good time. It's a good time for Lego time. That's right. Uh, we've got Resident Evil, The Mercenaries, 3D uh, by Capcom. Excellent game, uh, especially for portable. I mean, the, the graphics are very nice, and they're they're very close to the console versions. This is an excellent title to have. Yeah, I got a little bit of Chris uh, Redfield there, battling one of those crazy zombie creatures. Yeah, it's a tense game. You'll have a an intense time. We've got Kirby Extra Epic Yarn. Excellent, excellent game. Really good. Then we've got Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Excellent title. Awesome. You got all those crazy portraits. Good times for sure. And then we've got the uh, Mashi Monsters. This game's interesting. It's a cool uh, 
traditional 2D platform are really good, and uh, you'll have a good time with this one. I got this one for a couple of dollars, and I definitely suggest getting this one. Not too bad. This game we have here is Super Princess Peach, and uh, it's it's a solid game. Now, this is a printed copy. I don't have the official, but I do have... Oh, actually, I don't even have the... <laughs> it's in the DS right now, but... Um, it's a good game. I got it for pretty cheap, uh, just because it's not, you know, the the real uh, uh, printed uh, retail, uh, you know, cover for it. But uh, and then we got Mage Knight Destiny Soldier. Not too bad. Uh, we also got Sonic Sega All Star Racing. This game's really good. Nice game. Uh, nice graphics. A lot of uh, awesome tracks in this. And if you know um, with the Sonic games, all those cool, you know, red, uh, green hill zone or whatever, and uh, it's got all that stuff. Music's awesome. What do you expect, to, you know, in the uh, Sonic games? You'll have a really good time. And uh, we got a little bit of um, Mario Tennis open here. This game's excellent, really good. My copy's a little bit washed out. Uh, that's how it came uh, in the store, so I got a bit of a discount there. It's slightly washed out, it's not that bad. But uh, really, uh, really awesome uh, tennis game. Really cool. The graphics are nice, uh, the replayability is nice. Uh, one of the better, stronger tennis games. I think I like that one better even uh, more so than on the Switch. And then we got, you wanna play some hoops? Dunking the balls, doing the, that crazy dunking action going on? Well, hey. Try out some Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three three. This game's excellent. It's Mario, but basketball. You know, you, Mario's jamming here. He's doing some jams. That's right. Princess Peach, guess what she's doing? She's doing some jams, too. Everybody's doing some jams. They're jamming it. And they're jamming it good. That's right. We got uh, Space Bust a Move. This is cool. It's got the uh, Bubble Bobble characters, kind of a cool little side game uh, from the series, if you uh, ever are aware of the Bubble Bobble games. Excellent games. Awesome ar arcade games. And uh, this game's a lot of fun. Check it out if you like puzzle games especially. And here we go. If you like the you know traditional Sonic games and you wanna, you're looking for more, more of that experience, well, hey, Sonic Rush. Here we go. And you've got the two characters here to select from, uh, which is awesome. This game is one of my favorite Sonic games. Really good. And uh, excellent music, awesome stage designs. I kind of wish they'd go back to this route for, you know, for the games today. Although Sonic Frontiers looks kind of promising. Haven't really gotten into that yet, but uh, it looks cool. They released some demos for it, and it, uh, maybe they're in the right direction. I hope so. With all the 3D-ness and the prettiness and all that stuff. Uh, Sonic Rush Adventure. Here, this is a, an awesome game as well. Same sort of thing. A really strong platformer. Uh, you've got the two selectable characters again. But this one's more of an adventure. Who would have guessed? I don't know. But, uh, it's yeah, it's cool. Definitely check this one out. Then we've got, uh, this is kind of amazing they were able to make this work for the DS. we got Super Mario 64 DS. This game's a lot of fun. Really cool. It's like uh, Mario 64, but with added characters and features. Very, very neat. Uh, we've got Konami Wireway. Uh, now, this is a stylus game, and it's really cool. You kind of, you've got... Um, this sort of uh, connector thing, uh, like a utility belt thing that he launches, and you kind of do jumps and stuff, but you got to use your stylus to kind of jump your way through the end of the level. It's really cool. I definitely... This is a lot of fun, this one. Wireway. Very cool, my friends. All right, now we've got Ninjago Shadow of Ronin. Now, this I got in a CD case. I got it for pretty cheap. Uh, this game's pretty solid. Uh, if you're, yeah, it's in here. <laughs> the game, there's the game. It's inside the CD. Yeah, uh, interesting setup there. But uh, awesome graphics. If you like uh, Ninjago, any of that uh, crazy ninja stuff, you will like that. 
Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Awesome game. Awesome. Um, they did a good job. I think this came originally for the, the Wii, I think. Or Wii U. I can't, I can't remember. One of those systems. But uh, it's really done excellently here. It's excellent. And it's got the golden seal. It's golden up in here. We've got Final Fantasy Ring of Fates. I got a ring. There, it's the Fates, the Ring of Fates. It's the exact right. It came with that. It came with the game. No, I'm just joking. I wish it did. That'd be cool. But, uh, yeah, if you like Final Fantasy stuff, it's got, um, it's more of an adventure game, but very cool nonetheless. Got all these crazy character classes and Final Fantasiness in here. It's a good time. It's a good Final Fantasy time. We got Top Spin 3. This is a pretty solid uh, tennis game. Nice graphics for the system. Uh, pulls it off really well on the DS. Like it's realistic characters and uh, nice animations and things. We got uh, a little bit of Bleach Love. We got some Shaun and Jump Bleach, the Blade of Fate. This is a cool uh, fighting game. Very nice. It's got a huge selection of characters. And if you're a fighting fan, you owe it to yourself. Check this out on the DS. It doesn't cost a whole lot. Because Bob Marley says so. That's right. Legacy of Ease, books one and two. This is a nice one to have. It comes with a nice little box with a soundtrack, which I have uh, over here somewhere. <laughs> I got it. But uh, yeah, cool little collector's edition. A nice to have. It's got the um, updated graphics on this. The, the music's really uh, catchy on it. I love those Ease uh, music. Uh, on it. It's really cool. Lord of the Rings! There it is. Looking nice. Um, very cool. We've got this game's classic, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This was kind of a nice surprise when it came out, I don't know, nine, ten years ago. <laughs> Whenever it did. Um, yeah, I didn't think we'd get another Golden Sun. I hope that we get another Golden Sun uh, for the Switch or something. That'd be amazing. But this game's great. I've got uh, the other two games on the Game Boy uh, Advance. Well, I almost said Game Boy Color. It's not Game Boy Color. Uh, Final Fantasy, The Four Heroes of Light. I went to a GameStop, and they had this for $4, like, two years ago. And I, I was like, yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, four bucks? Sign me up. Yeah, this is... And the art is amazing on this. I love this. is a really cool game. Uh, it's got sort of like that chibi character look. Uh, it's a really excellent title. Very, very um, one of the stronger games actually. One of the stronger RPG games. Sonic Colors. I'm one of those guys that prefer this game to the actual uh, console games. This game is amazing. It's more of like the traditional 2d sonic that we all know and love very very cool it's the same game but just done in the 2d style way uh excellent title all three of those sonic games are awesome pick them up and that rpg one's not too bad too that's kind of like the side game this one lux lux pain and then there's some japanese text that i don't know i don't know what they're saying there it is a mystery but it's cool. This is, this game is a graphic novel. Uh, it's very, very neat to have. Uh, this was the same day that I went and I got that, uh, what was it, that Final Fantasy, what was it called again? Uh, Heroes of Light. I got this for $4, so, you know, that's kind of a steal. I think that one's going up in price. Then we've got, this game is amazing, Tokyo Beatdown from Atlas. This is, if you like beat-em-ups, you're going to love this. This is classic beat-em-up, and it's uh, kind of a bit of a comedy. It's kind of like crime. It's like these two detectives in Tokyo doing the beat-down, you know? <laughs> but uh, it's very cool. Uh, the writing in this is funny, and the, the it's it's an awesome time. Yeah, it's it's uh, kind of like a love letter to uh, beat-em-ups, that old, the old fashion good stuff beat em ups you have a good time beating up people on that one i'm sure yeah all right we've got uh, lego pirates of the caribbean 
<laughs> this game's, I had a lot of fun with this one, actually. I think it's one of my favorite Lego games for the uh, DS. Very cool. I'm, and I, you know, I love pirates. You know, who doesn't love pirates? And a nice stack. Let's get them away out of the frame a little bit. There we go. We got, yeah. So you can see more of Bob Marley and me. There we go. We've got Kirby Superstar Ultra. Very, very cool game. Uh, who doesn't like Kirby? I mean, look at him. Look at, look at the cuteness. It's all about the cuteness here. This, I mean, that just melts my hair right there. That's it's Kirby. He's got all the shiny, shiny little eyes. Innocent little eyes. And then we've got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explorers of Darkness. Whew, there it is. A cool little side game for Pokemon. Very cool. Try this one out. You will like it. Lunar Dragon Song by Ubisoft. U Ubisoft. Ubi. Ubi Shanubi. Um, yeah, this game's... Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I think you used the stylist and the controls on your DS for some parts. Uh, so it's kind of mixing it up there. But uh, it's not too bad. <laughs> then we have Devil Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 2. Again, uh, the art is fantastic. The story is amazing. It's very, very heavy duty. It's a, it's a novel. It's you know uh, so a lot of text, a lot of reading, but it's all very interesting. <laughs> and the, the the RPG aspects are are really good. Um, like I said, these games are, are hard. They're tricky, but if you have patience and uh, you know, if you can spare a little bit of playtime, these games are amazing. So check these out. This game is cool. We got uh, Conception 2. Games are falling again. Stay together, guys. Children of the Seven Stars. Uh, again, I mean, these covers, I just love these anime covers. Look at all the colors and everything. Um, this game's really cool. Uh, again, you can get this for about like $10, $15. Uh, very cool time. A nice RPG fair going on. Excellent. It's it's kind of like dungeon, virtual reality dungeon crawling goodness. And then we've got uh, the Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the DS, or the, not the DS, the 3DS. Uh, more power, slightly. <laughs> Yeah, this game's uh, a little bit more polished than the DS. Not by a whole lot, um, but it's a little bit more pretty. Yep, pretty good. Here's a classic one. We got Super Mario 3D Land. It doesn't get any more classic than this. Awesome stuff. Resident Evil Revelations. Again, this game is excellent, excellent. Nice title. We've got uh, Glory of Heracles. This is a cool RPG game, sort of similar to Golden Sun, if I had to compare it to something. But very cool nonetheless. And we've got Wacky Races. Doesn't get any more wackier than this. It's crazy. Wacky. It's crazy. It's it's wacky fun. It's not too bad. It's, it's not the best racer, but it's it's no Mario character or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. And we got, what else do we have? I think that is about it, folks. Let's see, yeah, we got Final Fantasy 3, which is a good one. This is a goodie. And I think that might be the last one. I got, uh, yeah, that is it. I've got, uh, oh, no, I'm lying. There's more. Harry Potter, use one, or wait, use five and seven. And that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my uh, number two uh, video of the Nintendo 3DS collection. And uh, see you guys later. Take care. Peace.